All right. Hi, Taurus. I hope you are doing well. My name is Debbie, but I'm your spiritual host here at Waterside Tarot. I'm going to be doing your July reading. Um, I'm going to use these cards. I'm going to be using, doing your July reading. I'm going to look into mostly love and a little bit of finance just to see where you are financially. Um, if you resonate with the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, I will be doing, eventually be doing giveaways again for readings. Um, but I did start, uh, I want to just get more followers on the Instagram on Waterside Tarot. And when I do, I'll start those giveaways. Um, but I do do daily messages over there. So um, definitely check it out. Love is coming in for you guys, but you need to have the strength to move away from something. Um, all right, so let's jump into it. Thank you, Spirit, for your guidance. Let's see these ones first. Give me a spiritual as fuck message. Let's start off with this for Taurus for July. Let me pick this. Okay. Get off your ex's page and say a prayer. Go the fuck to sleep. I just got this for um, Aries. It's so funny. You guys are doing a whole lot of searching. The world doesn't owe us, the owe you anything, and you are not your situation. I'm going to read from the back of you are not your situation. One of the keys to becoming spiritual as fuck is, is to define who you are by something deeper inside yourself and further outside yourself than the world can touch. You are someone even if you're not in your financial situation, your job, your relationship, or even in your body. Find out who that person is and you'll be unfuckable. Hint, you'll probably have to do some soul searching. So there's some soul searching needed right now. And I want to read this one. Get off your ex's page. You're not going to find anything worthwhile snooping at, around your ex's Instagram or Facebook or Snap whatever the fuck. You are your ex. They are your ex for a reason. Ask yourself what you're looking for from them and see if you can get it for yourself. You always, almost always can. Then say a little prayer for all the lumpy, bumpy, broken hearts in the world, especially your own. Double brownie points if you can manage one of your ex's hearts too. Okay, time for bed. So remember, we want to still, for our exes, we want to heal. We want to forgive them and we want to move on so that we can move on because it's only going to keep us um, stagnant if we don't, okay? All right, let's look into present energy. Present energy. Ooh. That love, there's love coming in 210. So there's a lot of there's a lot of endings of cycles. Somebody could have been very deceptive and taken advantage of you and caused a lot of heartbreak and left you out for the cold. But you need to have the strength to heal from that right now because the love that you want, that wish fulfillment that you want is coming in. There's a death to some way of thinking within you that's coming. Um, that's the present energy. But you gotta want it. Oh, 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 oh. Something's going to come in really shockingly and very surprisingly. You're not going to know. I don't think this is deception. There was deception in the past, but I'm seeing the moon more as something that you don't even see coming. And I feel like that's love. I feel like at this point, you're like, fuck love. I'm not doing this shit. Still caught up on your ex, not letting that go. You need to walk away from it. You need to walk away from this toxic and this toxic energy. Looking at your ex's page is bringing you anxiety, insomnia. You can't sleep because you're making up these stories in your head about who he's fucking, what he's doing or she or he doing, whatever. But there's something, once you walk away from this and let this go, something is gonna come in that you didn't even see coming. Once you walk away from this and take your own direction, find your own stability, okay, within yourself, something is gonna come in that's gonna bring you everything that you wanted. All right, let's look at the past. Past. Ooh. Past. Yeah, something, some communication. Something's going to be really surprising that comes in to you. Okay, so there was some kind of situation that you have with an air sign. There's something with the air signs and the earth signs right now. Um, there was something with a masculine air sign. They could have been a male, but they could have just been a female in their masculine energy. But they're very, they think very logically. Like, they're not very attached when it comes to love. They're not very loving. They're not very nurturing. They're very matter of fact right they also could be more a little bit intuitive but there was some tower moment that came crashing down and you need to let it go stop stalking this x let it, let it go because better is going to come in okay um the air signs are gemini 
Libra and Aquarius. So what's the future energy? You're going to have a victory in the future. Once you go within yourself and you transform yourself and let go of this toxic toxic energy within yourself, you're holding on to your ex so his energy is still there and then you're expecting to find love or her energy is still there and then you're expecting to find love from somebody else. All you're going to find is broken people because you're only going to attract broken people if you're still attached to somebody else's energy. So what's the future? You need to go within yourself and heal. There's a need for you to go within, reevaluate your thoughts re when it comes to love. Because if you're putting out negative thoughts, oh, I wonder who's going to come in next and cheat on me. I wonder who's going to do this. That's what you're going to get. Now, if you put out loving thoughts of, I know I'm going to have a good man. I'm independent. I'm whole. I love myself. I don't, I let go of the past. Then you're going to attract somebody that that's the same energy. Yeah, you need to, to go within yourself, let go of this X and move forward. All these tens coming out. You guys have a lot of tens coming out. That tens are a completion of a cycle. Once you go within yourself, you're going to, I want to look at the meaning. I forgot what it is for. It's a little different for this seven of pentacles in this book. The way I see it. But I know I read this for another air sign. I forget which one it was. Period of contemplation. So this is going within. Planting those seeds, okay? Planting those seeds within yourself. A curious card. The Seven of Pentacles shows a period of contemplation and uncertainty. You're looking back at your hard work and wondering if it's been a failure or a success. That's when it comes to love. You're wondering, am I meant for love? Am I meant to find love? And is it just me? Was I the problem? Um, you're, you're thinking about all that with the hangman. So there's definitely this need to go within yourself. Because these are two cards about going within yourself. Then you have two cards that's going within yourself to heal this, get rid of the anxiety, the hurt, the pain, all of that. Two of those cards to do that in order to move forward in a new direction. Okay. So let's look at, I want to look at the advice for love. Go within yourself. I already know the advice for love, but see if there's anything else. Anything else for advice for love? Balance yourself. You need to balance yourself and start envisioning what you want. Um, when it comes to a lover, what you should do is write down on a piece of paper, do one column of the things you don't want in a lover, one column of the things you do want in a lover. Read the columns of what you want in a lover. I mean, detailed down to shoe size type of thing. Um, read the column about the things that you do want in a lover. Read that to yourself every night. And then what will happen is you'll start attracting yourself to that. And you'll realize when other people come in and don't give that to you, you start looking at them like they're not enough right? Um, but there's that need for balance and for you to envision what you actually want in a man because I don't, or a woman, because I don't think you really know fully. You might have little aspects of, I want someone that's nurturing. Yep. And once you do that, write down what you want with this new start in love because it'll come. New direction when it comes to love, it'll come right in for you, but you have to visualize what you actually want and what you don't want. Do that exercise. Start journaling about what you want out of a man or out of a woman. Um, and what is the out the outcome? Somebody is very independent on their own. But you're going to come together with somebody and it's going to be stable. It's going to be slow moving, stable, and you're going to build together financially. Build a mountain of finances together. Okay, that's... Okay, tell me about the outcome. Hold on to that situation, that person that comes in that slow moving. Yeah, there's restructure restructure and go into a new direction the divine is talking to you they're trying to show you the way to go show you the light right they're giving you information there is some communication that could come in or other people could spark this idea that you're like oh well i was thinking about this and then someone else says it, and you're like oh i should do that those are all um the divine trying to guide you in the right direction okay but you need to restructure you need to take a step back go within and restructure before you can go forward Right now is the perfect time to do that because we got like five planets in retrograde. So everything's moving backwards and making us look within and deal with certain aspects and hurt and pain and, and all different kinds of things. Our structure, our home, our love is now, Venus is now direct. So love isn't um, going backwards anymore, but there's still that need for healing. Um, well, not love. Venus isn't going backwards. Now there's a little bit more. I think we're still in the shadow though, but you're going to start feeling that forward motion again. But you need to restructure and go within first before that happens because you don't want to take toxic energy into the new relationship. Okay. Let's look at finances. Where's finances at right now? Oh, these cards. If 
finances. Have the strength. You might be going through a hard time right now, but have the strength to keep pushing forward. Things might not be going as you wanted them to. Makes sense because of the coronavirus and everything else going on in the world. But all these changes are gonna be for the better and just have the strength to keep pushing forward, keep working hard. You might be getting tired. You might be overworking yourself, working multiple jobs, but just keep pushing forward. There's going to be a, a positive outcome out of this. Um, clarify the strength card. Good. yeah some kind of toxic behavior you could be drinking more now with the corona um because we're all stuck at home smoking more weed doing more drugs or just being around people that are toxic that don't bring out the best in you you could be overspending too um so have the strength to resist that resist those urges to do things that aren't for the for the betterment of you for you need to like we all 11 11 positive thinking that's the third i did the three videos the last three videos i did the readings all of them i, I looked up at 11 11 on the video that's funny um anyway so res resist the urge to do those toxic behaviors step out of that that energy and think step more into your logic put your guard up and think more logically about what you're doing okay what's the advice the finances yeah there's going to be a new start the divine is trying to guide you to a new start and there's going to involve other people that you need to come together with to build this these finances even further um what is the outcome <laughs> you know it's funny your love and your finances are, are intertwined because you have the mother and father of pentacles this is the divine pair two people that are very logical this is all earth energy here but you don't obviously you're not earth but um wait yes you are duh <laughs> i'm still on aries i don't know why i'm on aries sorry obviously you're the earth energy so you're one of these and you're gonna have probably another earth energy if it's not it's gonna be somebody that's more logical they're more slow moving um they're more grounded and they're financially doing well i feel like this is going to be that new divine the divine is trying to guide you to this new financial start because together you guys can build a whole lot together, okay? And you'll be good, you'll be successful, and things will be great. Um, but you have to open your heart up and open yourself up for love in order to get there, which is why you need to heal before you take this new direction, okay? You got a divine pair coming in, though. I like that. I don't know why I thought you guys were airy. All right, let's look, Taurus. Let's look at, um, could be an Aries that's the devil, this that hurt you in the past, actually, wasn't that, no, that was air energy. Well, I'm saying Aries, so an Aries relates to this somehow. All right, give me some closing messages. Anything else? Okay. All right, there's a lot, but I'll take them. Care for others and let them be free. So stop checking your ex's page, okay? Stop, let them be free. You can still love him and let him or her and love that. let them go, okay? Let them go. Love them from afar. Use power with wisdom. So you have a lot of power within yourself. And all of this is on the heart chakra. If you look, you have a lot of power within your heart. You need to use it. Again, the heart chakra experience, all life has to offer. You need to open up that heart chakra and heal that heart chakra. Listen to the messages from the angel. I told you this is divinely guided. They're trying to guide you and spread messages of peace and harmony. All right, that's an awesome message. So make sure you're listening. Go within yourself, not to anybody else. Stop asking for advice. Just listening to your inner guidance and what you need to do, okay? All right, I hope it helps. Thanks.